Our seminar on personal neuroscience aims at bringing together evidence in neuroscience with philosophical views on the notion of the person. We basically pose the following question. Does uh, the neuroscience perspective cohere with the philosophical tradition view on personhood? We started our course reviewing the historical development of the notion of personhood from the Greek prosopon to Boethius' definition, Aquinas' valuable contribution, and finally to contemporary personalisms that understand the person as coexistent, as someone who exists with. This means that while objects, things exist in isolation, even if they are physically related to a whole world around them, a person is such if it exists with others. Um, this perspective on personhood informs our exploration of the evidence, uh, methodology, and scope of neuroscientific approaches to the human person. So our approach to neuroscience started with an assessment of its methods and uh, with an inquiry into how reliably we can extrapolate experimental evidence about the brain to conclusions about how we, who we are and how we act. After reviewing these methodological presuppositions, we delved into different aspects of the brain and person entanglement. One first consideration was our relation to our surrounding reality. Does the brain facilitate or impede our cognitive access to the world? In other words, uh, can we trust what we experience? Do we obtain accurate and reliable knowledge about the physical world that surrounds us? Is reality something external to us? Or do brain processes construct it? Students really appreciated this event as a unique opportunity to bring together uh, contemporary issues, problems, and uh, scientific research with philosophies. So, the all experience, the overall experience of the seminar was very, very positive.